guys and welcome back to my channel it's me lisa and i'm back with another review for you guys today i'm going to be talking about the film the best of enemies but before i get started i'd like to say thank you to all my wonderful new subscribers because without you guys this really wouldn't be possible if you haven't already guys please don't forget to subscribe you see that red button below please press it now and uh, subscribe also uh press the bell right beside it because that will notify you when i have new videos and i try to post twice a week wednesdays and fridays keyword try anyway guys like i mentioned i'm going to be talking about the film the best of enemies it stars sam rockwell and tar g h henson i hope i said her name right today guys as i mentioned the film the best of enemies so it's not a new film but i actually bumped into it just the other day when i was um on amazon and i thought it was really it's an old film but i thought it was worth um reviewing because it's something that i think is worth the time. I really enjoy this film and usually I don't really come out and say if I really like the film or not. I usually kind of dance around but this film I really enjoyed uh, because it really shows that um, two people can really change if you really want to change. So in The Best of Enemies we, we meet two people. We meet Anne and we meet CP. Um, CP and um, Anne is a, an activist in the community and she's always trying to do things to better the community, especially the back, black community. And CP is completely opposite. He's white and he's in the KKK. How these two um, lives uh, become intertwined is when there's a fire at one of the black schools. The black school in the community is um, burnt very badly. It's not burnt down, but it's burnt very badly and it causes a fire in the school which will impact the school year for the students in this town called Durham. So what happens is they decide to have a meeting in the community between the whites and the blacks to decide whether if it's okay for there to be integration. Mind you guys, this is 1971, really, which is not really that long ago. That's about uh, almost 50 years ago, but not that long ago at all, but it's scary, but you know. Anyway, um, so they decide to have a meeting between the black and white communities to decide whether this could happen, whether there could be integration between the two school districts. CP um, is first reluctant to join this because he is a KKK member and he really wants nothing to do with anything to do with integration. Anne is, of course, willing to join this community but she's reluctant that a KKK member like CP will be there and is negative about anything to do with integration or anything that improves the lives of black people. So this is how they initially meet. Over the film, we see that these two people, although they're different and they both have their different views and they have both have um, prejudice against each other, grow to understand that ultimately they both want the same things for their children, the best for their children, and they both want um, happy lives for the people in their lives. So through, as this film progresses, we see that these two people become not only friends, but have a common meeting of the minds when it comes to the community. It's really worth watching, guys. It's a really uplifting film that I recommend to anybody to go and see because it really will make you think that it's possible for change. I think ultimately we live in a time, sadly enough, in 2020 where there's still a lot of people that are prejudiced when it comes to other people of different backgrounds, different races. And it's just the way the society has engineered us to be, I guess. But I think if you watch this film, you'll see that these two people, although, again, they are different, they manage to put aside those differences and open themselves up and at the end, they make a wonderful friendship, which is something that is so hard to find these days. So if you get a chance, guys, definitely take the chance and go see this film. It's called The Best of Enemies. So as far as this goes, guys, that's it for me for now. If you like what you saw as normal, please subscribe below. Also, tell your friends, share with your family, and like and leave comments because that really helps the channel. So guys, um, the next time you see me, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I will still be doing movie reviews, but I'm going to be doing a story time next week about uh, the dentist from hell. So look forward to that. Um, 
it was really a traumatic experience for me so hopefully I could relay it in a way that if you ever come across these signs you too will run away from this kind of situation anyway uh, guys thanks for watching as usual and bye for now